Hello fellow Hydros of the Blue and welcome to my channel. In this basing tutorial I will show you how to base using sand and rocks. Let's get cracking. As you can see we're starting with the with our base primed and it's very important we start with the base prime before we apply the sand because otherwise the sand will just peel off the plastic. So always glue your sand with the base prime. And the first step we are going to do is glue a couple of rocks. This is just a random pieces of rock. Just glue them with a bit of super glue onto the base. The glue holding the stones is now dry and I'm going to apply the sand. For this I'm using PVA and a really crappy brush. I'm just going to lay a nice coat of PVA over the base, avoiding the stones as much as possible of course. I will just drop this upside down into my sand container. Our sand is now applied and I'm going to show you a really nice trick to make this base indestructible. I'm going to take a lot of water and mix it with a PVA to make a really thin PVA Blue. You're going to see how much water this has and just dab it over the sand. You will see that it immediately flows into the sand and the sand will absorb it. This will make, again, this base will be completely indestructible once this dries. And I will demonstrate that to you. The PBE glue is fully dried and you can see how solid it is. this is. That there is no way you're going to move this sand from this base now. And now we're going to move to painting it. I'm painting the sand with XV88. You want to dilute your paint quite a lot so it flows nicely into all the sand. Don't, we don't really care to cover it perfectly because we're going to go over it with an overbrush, but we want the paint to go into all the crevices. And now I'm going to base coat my rocks with dumpstone. I do want a full coverage here, so I will probably do two coats of this. Our two base coats are now dry and I'm going to move into highlighting the sand. For this I'm using a screaming skull and I will do an overbrush. For this you want your, your brass loaded, it's not dry at all, you can see the paint there. And I will apply it very parallel to the sand. This way we catch all the raised areas but we also have a lot of control, not like dry brush because dry brush is very messy and especially if you have your models already stuck into the base. This is a very easy way to highlight your sand without taking the risk of ruining your models. Our overbrush of Screaming Skull is now completely dry. I'm going to move into shading. For this I'm using Average Earth Shade and I will apply it all over the base, including the rocks. Our wash of Agrax Earth is, is completely dried and I ended up doing a second coat over the rocks because I didn't I felt it was a bit too light. I'm going to do a dry brush just over the rocks with a minstratum grey. The 
once the dry brush is done, I'm going to go with the Menistratum Grey and reinforce all the edges on the rocks. Now I'm going to do a last highlight on the rocks, this time using the full and grey. For our last step, I'm going to take built and green, thinned into a glazed consistency. I'm just going to apply it on the shallow parts of the rock. This will give a bit of tonal, a bit of tonal variation and will produce a really nice effect. The painting part of her base is now completely finished. I'm going to apply first a static grass and I'm going to create a couple of points here and there. I don't like to do very big chunks of this in this kind of basis because we just want to break the surface a bit. What I like to do is take my thick grass with a couple of tweezers and just with the static grass glued to the base I like to add a tuft too to increase the variation of the grass in it it will help give a more natural look to the whole scene of course you want to do this with your miniature glued or plan where it's going to go but you get the idea. I will now paint the rim and see you in a minute. With the rim of the, of the base painted, black of course, because as the master of Vince Venturella says, any color you paint the rim is okay as long as it's black. The base is finished. This is a really 
basic approach to pacing, which but all of my pacing is quite basic, but it's a, another option to consider, and I really like it, I use it a lot actually. All my Lizardman army is based like this. As I said, I really hope you liked this video, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.